Hello friends, how are you? In this session, I will explain how software engineers fix bugs or errors in live application in the real world. If you are trying to learn different things on YouTube or on any other platform, then obviously you will uh, do some practice. But if you join a software company as a software engineer, then you will face different kinds of application issues reported by client. So I have a uh, application uh, and uh, yesterday my client reported two bugs in the application. So before fixing the bugs, I decided to record a video session so that you can also um, see the real example of how we can remove or fix these bugs. So let me show you the uh, client requirement. Basically my client reported that uh, there are duplicate rows in the discounts page in the admin panel. So I have to fix this issue. And client also reported that when he opened the product details page in the customer portal, then it's not scroll to the top, okay? So basically, let's suppose the client goes to the product detail page, then um, the, the page should be scrolled to the top, but he feels that uh, there is some issue. So I will fix both these issues in this session. So let me go to the application code, okay? I have just to open the, the project. Right. Here is my application, right? Now I have to open first the admin panel. Right click, open with Microsoft Visual Studio. Close all these things. And let me run the application. I will show you the error, uh, the duplicate row uh, error in the discount page that client faces. I am just running the application. Okay, now I am going to the discounts page that client faces the issue. Right? Now here you can see that uh, these rows are duplicated. Uh, the discount with ID 1016 coming one time, but the discount with ID 16 uh, here appears uh, four times. You can see that all the data is duplicated here. So how we can fix this issue? Uh, first, I will see the URL. Okay, it is the discount list page. And uh, let me search the URL first so that I reach at the uh, exact code. I have to go to my admin panel. Mm, Let me go to the to the URLs that I have defined. Okay, so I ha I have to copy this pattern, discount list. Okay, so it is the URL, and here I can see that uh, it is the uh, discounts controller, and the function name is. Uh, I mean, uh, the action method name is discount list. So let me directly search this one. Okay, now I am at the discount controller and here is my discount list. Let me expand this code. And here I am getting the discount list data. If I just put here a debugger, okay, and uh, I have to attach the admin panel with the debugger. Okay, now let me run the application again. Uh, sorry, refresh the page. Okay, the debugger is hated. I have just to identify where I am getting the duplicate rows. Don't confuse yourself with the code. At this time, our main focus is to identify the duplicate rows. So get discount list, okay? It is the function that getting the discount list. Let me go to the implementation of this function. Okay, so here is the complete body of this function. Put here also a debugger. Next, next. And let me go to the final query. Okay. And here 
I am getting the final query. Okay. Now I have just to copy the query. Okay. Select select all this query, and I have to go to the SQL Server now. I will run the query directly now on the database so that I can see the result. Okay. Now I have to go to the database. It is my DB and I have to run a query. Control V. Now at this time I have just to comment this line because it is for the pagination and I will run the EBO query. I am getting, you can see that uh, four different duplicate rows, right? Now why I am getting these duplicate rows? First I have to check uh, Response main table, how many uh, rows in the main table? Select historic from discounts, okay? Basically, I have two rows, right? Now go to the main query, uh, discount type. Like in this way, and let's me uh, comment this line. And uh, I have also made this one at this time, right? Let me see. Okay, so we got that basically the discount usage uh, history join uh, makes an issue. If I just show you the data inside this table, select story from discount usage history. So basically there are four rows in the table and we are joining on the discount ID. So for the discount ID 16, if I, if I just show you in the main table, for the discount ID 16, there are basically four rows in the discount usage history. And when we join the discount with the discount usage history, then for each row in the discount usage history, there will print a new row that is why we are getting uh, these error. So how we can fix this issue? Uh, I think I should, uh, let me uh, think a little about how we can fix this issue. Basically for the usage of discount, let's suppose you create a coupon and uh, the coupon used by 10 or thousand different peoples Okay, so I mean that uh, in this table we maintain the history of usage of discounts. Okay, so if I just uh, um, use the outer reply, let's we see. We are like in this way. Select count historic from discount usage history here I'm, I have to use the outer reply instead of left giant and uh, let's we see what uh, is the output so I have to give an alias to these I will uh, use discount usage history right and here I am getting an error. Okay, so I have to define uh, the column name as discount as total usage. Okay, no, let's me remove this one, and I have to use here like in this way. Discount usage history total usage as total usage okay 
No, I have to run the query. Okay, you can see that we have fixed the problem by f using the out reply. Because in the out reply, I am just getting the total number and then uh, d um, giving here in the main query. So I have no to use this code inside my application. So go to the application, stop. And here I have to comment this one. Any option for out reply? No, no. There is no option for out reply, so I will use append. Basically, it is the code, so don't confuse yourself with the code. Our main focus is to uh, see how we can fix the issue. Out reply, okay. Uh, control D, and no, I will append this query. I will append this line. Okay, and here is my VR class. Okay, it is already defined. Remove this code. Okay, Control S, and here I have also to remove this line with this one. Right. Let's me run the application again. Go to the promotion page, and here you can see that the duplicate row uh, issue is fixed now. We are just getting the two rows. If I just click on the usage, here we have told a total of uh, four usage. And if I show you here, I have only zero usage of this coupon code, right? So I have fixed basically this issue of the client. Now I have also to fix uh, one another issue, the product detail page, that it, it's not scrolled to the top in the client side, okay? So I have to open the um, visual, uh, the, uh, the client side code, I'm in the, uh, the customer portal. So my code is inside this folder. Okay. Open in File Explorer. Copy the path. And I will open this code inside the Visual Studio code. Right. Visual Studio code. File. Open folder. Sorry. File. New window. And I have just to give the path. So copy here the path of the uh, of the of your project. Press enter. Select folder. Okay. I just want to show you first the issue that I am facing. Uh, that the client facing the second issue. Right. Uh, now I have to run this application. It is basically the React JS website. Uh, I'm just starting the application. Let's me hard refresh each and everything. Okay. No, I will show you uh, the second issue first. Let's me click on this product. Okay, view detail. You can see that we are at the bottom of page. If I just scroll to the top, here is the product detail. Let's me go again to the home page. Okay, and here let's me click on on this on this uh, uh, product. Here you can see that I am at the bottom of the page. Uh, and no, I have to scroll manually to see the product detail. So basically the client requirement is that when he click on the product, then uh, he should be on the top of the page, okay? So we have to fix this issue, right? Mm, first, uh, let me show you the URL. It is the product detail, okay? So go to the, let me close all these things. 
those all okay and here go to the public i am just going towards the main uh, file web views product product detail okay so it is our main um, or main file of the product detail now go to the google and let me search here for react.js page pull to top okay i am just searching for the solution use the window to scroll to method to scroll to the top of the page okay i think in these method we are giving the top left and smooth uh, kind of variables uh, yes in the use effect they are using window dot scroll to um, and then uh, the, they are using window to scroll to function and uh, passing these object uh, the top is equal to zero left is equal to zero and behavior is equal to smooth these mean that the page should be scrolled to top with uh, margin zero, uh, with the left with margin zero, and the behavior should be smooth. So it should be screw like in this way, smoothly, not suddenly, yeah, like in this way, okay? So let's me copy this line of code, and I have to use inside my application. I will use inside the use effect. It is the use effect, okay? And I am pasting here. But I will give here a little time so that the page loaded, and then these function calls so control x control v and in the set time out i will just give one uh, one second so after loading the page and after one second the page will scroll to the top control s and lets me hard refresh uh, the application okay now go again to the home page and let's me click on uh, on a product on this one okay you can see that no uh, when the page loads then it scroll to top and client no can see each and everything in a clear way go to another product uh, let's me click on yes let's me click on this one no it's again uh, scroll to the top Initially, we were facing this issue. When we open the product detail page, then this area, the bottom of the page, was displaying. But now we screwed to the top successfully. Let me also show you one another behavior. I have to click on this one. Okay. So the issue is fixed successfully. Basically, it is uh, the project that uh, used by one of my clients. So he faced uh, these issues and no. We have successfully solved all these two uh, application bugs. Now you have to inform the client that I have fixed the issue. So you have to also send the required changes because I have made the changes in the code in this file and in this file. So I have to send the required build or the complete project. If I have any kind of changes only on the SQL side, then I have just to send the SQL query to the uh, to the client. Basically, uh, there is changes in the SQL query, but uh, we have to copy and paste this query inside the code. I've, I have replaced here, so there is only code changes. So uh, I have to inform the client about this kind of things. So basically, uh, the focus of this session was to show you how we can face issues in the real applications. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.